warm up. So <clears throat> just finding a comfortable seat, either Vajrasana on your knees or cross-legged position, any comfortable position with your palms open to the sky, just so that you can have a soft bend into your elbows. Relaxing the shoulders, spine is nice and long. And you can just close your eyes for a moment, just to start welcoming the breath in, and maybe even finding that sense of gratitude for the breath that comes in this morning, each cycle. Being grateful for the sensations of the breath. in the body, maybe already noticing the energizing effect of the breath in, the soothing, relaxing effect of the breath out on the body and the mind. And to let that sink in at a deeper level, we'll open up the practice with one Om Chant, exhaling the air out the nostrils, emptying the lungs, you take a deep inhale in through the nose. <sighs> relax, return to normal, maybe already finding an ujjayi breath, just a slow, soft, oceanic breath to continue bringing a little warmth into the body, listening to the sound of your own breath. Possibly still with your eyes closed, nice comfortable seat with a tall spine. We're going to start to initiate some movement in the upper body. So as you inhale, you can start to reach your arms out to the side, circling your hands all the way up. So stretching your fingers up to the sky, trying to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Bringing your palms together as you exhale, drawing your hands through to the forehead mouth, throat, back down to the heart, and as you inhale, sweep your arms out to the side, so stretch it to the side and up, we start warming up into the shoulders, exhaling, drawing your hands down the midline, one last one, inhale, reach up, exhale, release, now this time as you inhale, reach up, see if you can grow the spine a little bit taller. And as you exhale, we're just going to open out into a little twist. So bringing the back of your left hand to the outside of your right knee, right fingertips behind your sacrum. Inhaling again, see if you can lift your spine, broaden into the collarbones. And as you exhale, just an easy twist looking towards the back. Inhaling back to center, arms up, palms together. Exhaling, twisting to the other side. Just a couple of breath here, lengthening into the spine. Exhale, you twist. 
Inhale, coming back to center, reaching your arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to release your hands behind you so you can tenter your fingers, thumb towards your sacrum. And see if you can start to open through the chest, rolling your shoulders back, maybe finding a little arch into the spine, maybe even dropping your head back, puffing your heart right up to the sky, a little arch into the spine. And then nice and slow, inhaling, coming back. You can start to round the spine, hands onto your knees, bringing your navel in towards the spine. Pushing your shoulder blades back. Slowly, you can start to fold forward into a child's pose, walking your hands forward. So see if you can rest your chest onto your thighs, forehead to the floor, extending your arms forward. Taking a few breaths here, see if you can lengthen into the spine. Every inhale, reaching your Fingers maybe a little bit further forward, hips back, and as you exhale, you soften. And your next inhale, coming all the way up. Back to sit on your heels. And we're going to take a strong energizing breath. So, Bastrika. So this is really going to start warming up into the core muscles, bringing heat. So we activate the Agni, the fire in the body. So we want to be working with the abdomen. So as you inhale in through the nose, your belly is going to go out. And as you exhale out the nose, belly goes in. So you really try to work with your abdomen so that the diaphragm really gets some good movement. So you can keep your palms open to the sky, eyes closed, spine is straight. And we'll take two rounds of 15 to 20, depending on how you feel. Whenever you feel this is too much, you can just stop, especially if you get um, difference of pressure in the ears. So spine is nice and straight. Chest is relaxed as much as possible, face is relaxed, and you can start taking a deep inhale in through the nose, belly goes out, out through the nose, belly goes in, and again. Deep inhale in through the nose, retaining the breath in just for a couple of seconds. Nice and slow, you can exhale, let go of everything. Just taking a few normal breaths before we get into our second round. Feeling into the body. If you feel fine, you might try to go a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. Let's get going. Deep inhale in through the nose, into the abdomen out the nose and you get pumping. In, out, in, out. Deep inhale, retaining the breath in, couple of seconds. Exhale, you release. Nice and slow, you can find a cat and cow position coming onto your all fours. So you might still have your eyes closed if you have a good balance, good bearings of where you are in your uh, 
space on your mat. Inhaling, looking up, arching into the spine. So just little gentle movements to really start to get more into the spine, the nervous system. Your knees are right under your hips. Your hands are under your shoulders. And you can take a moment here to also notice the position of your hands so your fingers are spread out nice and wide. Your index finger is pointing forward and they should be parallel to each other, aligned with the outside edge of your shoulders. So your hands are just a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. So this is a good position for your vinyasas, your down dog. So that's the position you want to have with your hands, which we're going to start to find now, taking the toes, finding an easy down dog. So you start pushing onto your hands, reaching your hips, back and up, soft bend into your knees for this first down dog, getting a little movement into your down dog, bending one knee after the other. Maybe gently rocking your hips from side to side, any movement that feels good, maybe even rolling onto your toes, rolling your heels out so that you reach a bit further with your hips, feeling the stretch into the sides of the body. Coming back to center, feet are hip width distance apart, so nice and wide to make it easy into the body until we get really warm. And then very slowly you can start to walk your hands back, bending into your knees as much as needed. And you can start to find maybe a little squat, see if you can Bring your shins parallel to the floor, resting your chest onto your thighs, hands onto the floor. Bringing your hands a bit closer to your feet. And then you start finding a full forward fold, reaching your sit bones right up to the sky, straightening your legs. See if you can let the head be nice and heavy. Nice and gently, you're going to start to walk your hands out to the left. Maybe soft bend into your knees, inhaling back to center, exhaling, walking to the right, inhaling back to center. Very slowly, you can start to roll your spine up vertebrae by vertebrae, pressing your feet into the earth for good grounding, reaching your arms all the way up, palms together. See if you can keep your palms together, reached up. And as you exhale, you start bending into your knees, just like you, if you wanted to come into a squat, bringing your hips down, arms up, and then you release your hands down onto the floor, reaching your hips up. And you start walking your hands forward, so you can start onto your fingertips, then bringing your palms onto the floor, finding your down dog. So bending into the knees as much as you need. And then slowly walking your feet all the way to the top of the mat. Just nice little gentle steps, trying to keep your hips up to the sky. Coming all the way to the top of the mat, feet together. And again, as you inhale, rounding the spine, coming up, really pressing your feet into the earth to come all the way up. See if you can start stretching the front of the body as you reach your arms up. Look up to your thumbs. And as you exhale, you release your hands back down through the midline to your heart. Closing your eyes for a moment. Again, maybe still with that sense of gratitude for that breath. So making sure you're still going with your Ujjayi breath in through the nose, into the back of the throat. Little noise, little hit, bringing that sense of gratitude into your heart for this breath, the movement of your body. See if you can keep that breath going all throughout the practice. Nice and slow as you inhale, stretching your arms up. And you can start to arch into your spine if you feel comfortable looking up, dropping your head back, maybe reaching your hands back a little, just nice and easy. Bending into your knees as you exhale, folding forward. Fingertips to the floor. As you inhale, lengthening into the spine, 
halfway lift so keep bending into the knees as much as needed if this is too much you can always bring your hands on your shins trying to keep the spine as flat as possible and as you exhale you fold forehead towards your shins stepping your right leg back drop your knee point your toes inhaling your arms up for a low lunge so just take a moment here to get your alignment tucking your tailbone under so you probably want to re-straighten a little bit your front leg so that you can really get that tucking of the tailbone under activating into the core so that you lengthen into the spine shoulders are relaxed see if you can keep that activation of the core squeezing your inner thighs together activating the pelvic floor and then you can start to rebend a little bit more into your front knee nice and slow you're going to start to release your left hand towards the floor reaching your right arm over your head towards the left so if your left fingertips are not reaching the floor that's fine just making sure that you're not dropping your right shoulder forward so you really want to reach over your right ear nice and slow as you inhale you come back up extend your arms releasing your hands onto the floor tuck your toes under stretch back down dog sorry not down dog chaturanga nice and slow as you exhale you can bring your knees chest to the floor going through an easy vinyasa keep bending your elbows towards the back nice and strong you release all the way down to the floor point your toes and as you inhale lifting into your heart uh, using your back muscles nice and slow as you exhale you release tuck your toes under stretching back down dog nice and easy couple of breath into your down dog just letting your dog settle making sure that you have an even weight distribution between your hands and feet and we'll get moving as you inhale stretching your right leg up trying to keep your hip shoulders nice and squared as you exhale bringing your knee to your chest use your core muscles you come over your wrists stepping forward right between your hands and you can start to lengthen your heart forward dropping your hips down so you come onto your fingertips lengthen and as you exhale looking down stepping all the way forward inhale flat back lengthening into the spine again bending into the knees as much as needed exhale you fold forehead to shins pressing your feet into the earth to rise all the way up maybe again a little arch into your spine if you can take it and as you exhale you release hands back down to your heart and we keep flowing inhale reach up exhale folding forward fingertips to the floor inhale lengthen separating between the vertebrae as you exhale soften forward forehead towards your shins we take the other side left leg back low lunge reaching your arms up again take a moment here maybe straightening your front leg tucking your tailbone activate that core so that you feel the lengthening relaxing into the shoulder blades nice and slow as you exhale you're gonna reach your right fingertips towards the floor and you lengthen into the whole left side of the body as you reach towards the right with your left fingers couple of breath here keeping your core activated so navel in so your shoulder is not coming forward but right over your ear inhale coming back to center reaching your right arm up exhale you release plant your hands from in your front foot tucking your back toes chaturanga now you can start to build up onto your vinyasa lowering all the way down in a plank if you need to keep bringing your knees down you can releasing all the way down you point your toes inhale lift up into your full cobra straightening your elbows shoulders relaxed maybe even looking up slowly releasing rolling the spine down tuck your toes pushing back down dog inhaling left leg up so you stretch it nice and long exhale to your chest stepping forward coming onto your fingertips 
Again, you lengthen from your back heel all the way to your heart forward. And as you exhale, you release, looking down, stepping all the way forward. Nice control movement, lengthening into the spine on the inhale. And as you exhale, you soften. Inhale, press your feet, rise all the way up, nice and strong. Maybe arching back. Exhale, you release. And again, inhale, rising up, arms up, little arch into the spine to your own ability. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, you fold. Uttanasana. Right leg back. Again, low lunge. Reaching your arms up. Now you can interlace. Oh, sorry, getting hold of your elbows. Again, trying to get that position, navel in. And then slowly you can start to reach back. Arching into the spine. Maybe looking up. Slowly coming back. And then you can pull your left elbow so that you can lean towards the right. Feeling the stretch into your left side. Inhale, back to center, extending your arms. Exhale, coming down, plant your hands, tuck your toes, stretch back, chaturanga. Nice low control movement, lowering all the way down. Keeping your elbows pointing back, coming onto your abdomen, you point your toes, you point your fingers. Shalabhasana, as you inhale, you lift your chest, legs, arms. Look forward. Use your back muscles, nice and slow as you exhale, you release. Hands under your shoulders. Stretch back, down dog. Inhaling, left leg up. Bend your knees, take your hips. See if you can open up into your hip a little bit more, bringing your right knee right up to the sky. Nice and slow as you exhale, you bring your knee to your chest, stepping forward right between your hands, coming onto your fingertips. And we're going to start working towards straightening the front leg. So stretching the hamstring doesn't need to be completely straight. You're high onto the ball of your back foot. As you exhale, you rebend into your front knee, reaching forward with your heart. So just like we did before. And as you exhale, we add on to it, straightening that front leg or working towards, keeping your hips nice and squared, back is flat, inhale, reach your heart forward, hips down, exhale, hips back and up, heart forward, still, spine is nice and flat, last one as you exhale, rebound into your front knee, inhale, look forward, exhale, stepping forward, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, you fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. Palms together. Exhale, you release. Now bringing your hands onto your buttocks. Drawing your shoulder blades back. As you inhale, you can start to open through your chest. Broadening the collarbones. Maybe a little arch into the back, looking up. Just nice, easy back bend. Slowly as you inhale, coming back, extending your arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, soften, folding forward. Left leg back, low lunge. So again, find your low lunge, getting hold of your right elbow. See if you can start to arch back, keep activating into the core, relax into the shoulder blades, reach back. So you should be feeling a good stretch into the front of the body. Maybe you can look up. Just one more breath. Inhaling back to center. And as you exhale, you lean towards the left, feeling the stretch from the right hip all the way to your right armpit. Inhaling back to center. Extend your arms, exhale, you release, plant your hands, chaturanga, lowering all the way down, nice and strong control movement, coming onto your abdomen, you release, 
Extending your arms forward, pressing your palms together. Exhale your breath, toes to touch as you inhale. You lift your arms, you lift your legs, keep pressing your palms together as much as possible. Looking between your hands, keep lifting, keep lifting. Your hands should be shoulder height. And then slowly releasing, you bring your hands under your chest, stretch back, find your down dog. Oh, stretching into the shoulders. Next, inhale, left leg up, bend your knees, stack your hips. Maybe you can keep your right knee, on, oh, sorry, right heel onto the floor, reaching your left knee up, opening into those hips. Try to keep your shoulders nice and squared. And then as you exhale, knee to chest, coming forward. So keep squeezing your core, stepping right between your hands, coming onto your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen, heart forward, drop those hips. And as you exhale, you reach those hips back. So you're going to be pressing from your big toe mount all the way to that left hip back. Inhale, you rebend, lengthen from your back heel all the way to the heart forward, feeling the stretch into your right hip flexor. Exhale, working towards straightening that left leg. Again, back is nice and flat as much as possible, so you want to relax your lower ribs. Inhale, rebound. We take one last one. Exhale, keep your hips nice and squared. Rebound into your front knee, and as you exhale, stepping forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, palms together, separating your feet, hip width distance apart. Exhale, you release. You can bring your hands again onto your lower back. Maybe this time, if you feel you can go further, you can bring your fingers pointing up, soft bend into your knees. So maybe depending a little bit into your back bend, standing back bend, if you can. So drawing your shoulder blades towards each other. Pushing your hips slightly forward and see if you can start to look towards the back wall, bending into your knees as much as comfortable, nice and slow. As you inhale, you come back. Exhale, folding forward. Soft bend into your knees. You can get hold again on of your elbows, resting your chest on your thighs and just swaying gently from one side to the other. Legs are as straight as comfortable for your own body. Coming back to center, hands onto the floor, inhale, lengthen, restraighten the spine, and as you exhale, you fold, stepping your right leg back. So we're coming into a high lunge, so we're a little bit more open here since your feet were hip width distance apart, reaching all the way up. So again, just like we did before, see if you can just restraighten slightly your front leg bending into your back knee, just so that your hips can really square, tucking your tailbone under, activating that core, so you're nice and long into the spine, reaching your arms up, and then you can start to restraighten your back leg, rebend into your front knee, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Nice and slow, we're going to open out to the left. To the left. And then slowly, we're going to release the right hand to the floor, keeping your left arm up. So we find a little twist here. Again, we lengthen from the back heel all the way to the crown of the head. And then you release. Planting your hands, stepping back, chaturanga, going through vinyasa, lowering down, nice and slow. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, stretch back, down dog. Couple of breath into your down dog. We're going to start to go a little bit further, inhaling right knee up. Or right leg up, knee right up to the sky. So see if you can open up a little bit more. 
and then nice and slowly exhale you're gonna bring your knee to your right elbow inhale stretch your leg long exhale you're gonna place your foot onto the outside of your right hand and then slowly just like we did before you can come onto your fingertips if that's more comfortable you can start to straighten your right leg maybe even flexing your toes as you exhale you bend into your front knee for a version of a lizard bringing your hips down as much as possible exhale straighten in exhale we'll do a couple more like this just doing what you can feeling into the body stretching these hamstrings and then nice and slow rebending into your front knee you're going to step your left foot outside of your left hand for malasana yogic squat hands in prayer position nice and slow as you inhale rising all the way up and you can heel toe your feet back to hip width distance apart reaching your arms back for a back bend and as you exhale folding forward bringing your left hand under your heart bending into your left knee you reach your right arm up keep lengthening into the spine right hip back exhale you release replace your left hand bend into your right knee inhale left arm up lengthen into the spine exhale you release inhale lengthen realign the spine exhale you fold left leg back again we come into this high lunge so taking the time here to find your alignment and then as you exhale you open out to the right coming down as you exhale left hand to the floor right arm up for this twist opening into the chest lengthening from the back heel to the crown of the head as you exhale you release going through vinyasa stepping back lowering on your exhale inhale cobra or up dog exhale stretch back down dog inhaling left leg up bend your knees stack your hips so again see if you can keep your shoulders nice and squared reaching your knee right up to the sky and then as you exhale you bring it to your left elbow coming forward inhale stretch your leg long exhale stepping outside of your left hand maybe coming onto your fingertips or staying onto your palms your choice you can start to work towards straightening that left leg staying high onto the ball of your back foot inhale rebend drop your hips heart forward exhale reach your hips hips back folding forward to your own ability couple of times keep working with the breath paying attention to what you feel into the back of the leg trying to flex your toes as much as possible inhale one last one exhale inhale coming forward right foot outside for malasana dropping your hips down hands in prayer position and you can bring your left hand outside um, stretching your arms forward so you keep pressing your back tricep into your front chin maybe you can reach your right arm up nice and slow you release taking the other side exhale you release inhale coming all the way up palms together again little back bend as you exhale folding forward wide-legged 
Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, bending into your knees. You can plant your hands. And you can maybe start to explore a little bakasana if you feel you can take it. So you can really try to bend into your elbows, plant your hands, bringing your knees into the back of your arms as high as possible into your armpits. And you start to lean forward. Lean forward, lean forward. So use your core, activate your core. You lift your heels, you come onto your tippy toes and you can start to bring maybe one foot up, heel towards your buttocks. Maybe left foot, nice and slow. And then slowly releasing, stepping all the way back. Chaturanga, taking a vinyasa. One breath, one movement. Exhale, stretch back, down dog. Inhaling right leg up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Maybe you can open up a little bit more to flip your dog, bringing your foot right behind you. All 10 toes to point back. Reach your hips up, arching into your spine, dropping your head back. Hello, very good. Nice and slow, using your core muscles. Right hand onto the floor, stretch your right leg back. Exhale, you step forward right between your hands. Bringing your right hand flat onto the floor outside of your foot, dropping your back heel down. Inhaling, left arm up. So you find a side angle pose. Keep opening into the chest. Keep bending into your front knee. And as you inhale, coming up into warrior two. Keep bending into your front knee. Nice and slow, we're gonna start to reverse, flipping the front palm. Keep the bend into your front knee. You reach your right arm over your right ear towards the back. Nice and slow, coming forward as you inhale. And we move into Ardha Chandrasana, coming forward, right fingertips in front of your right foot. You can keep your left hand onto your hip, hoping or just stepping all the way forward. Soft bend into your standing leg. Keep flexing your left toes. Keep working on your um, back leg, extending the leg. So if you're a bit wobbly, it doesn't matter. It's okay, just get back into it. So energizing that back leg. If you wanna go further, maybe going into Chapasana, you can bend into that top knee, getting hold of your foot and you can start getting a little back bend arching into the spine so you'll feel more stretch into your right armstring if you have a good balance here you may be bringing your right hand to your heart and then slowly releasing right foot to meet the left oh, inhale lengthen half a lift Exhale, you fold. Utkatasana, bending into your knees. Inhale, your arms up. Now, see if you can bring your hips down a little bit further. And maybe you can even come onto your toes, lifting your heels. See if you can come down, sink down. So, bringing your sitting onto your heels, and you bring your knees out. You can bring your hands in front. And you can start to stretch your arms forward, folding forward. You can stay there or if you want to explore again a bit further with your arm balance, you can come into Bakasana. So planting your hands, lifting your hips so that you bring your knees into the back of your arms, armpits. You lean forward and maybe you can lift both feet at once. And then slowly releasing, stepping back. Chaturanga, going through your vinyasa, one breath, one movement. Exhale, stretch back, down dog. Inhaling, left leg up, bend your knees, stack your hips, opening up a little bit more. Again, maybe you can come nice and slow to place your foot right be behind you. All 10 toes pointing back. Lift your hips, drop your head back. See so if you can start reaching your left hand towards the floor. 
using your core muscles you come back extending your leg back exhale you step forward between your hands finding this side angle pull so you spin your back heel down reaching your right arm up inhaling coming up warrior two settle down for a breath and then we'll reverse nice and light onto your back leg so no pressure keep bending into your front knee slowly coming forward maybe all the way in one move into your balancing pose half moon pose Ardha Chandrasana lifting your right arm up Oh, a little bit wobbly this morning again keep reaching energizing into that right leg flexing your toes reaching your right heel back maybe you can even look up if you have a good balance or you can take chapasana so keep your knee as low as possible bending into your knee to get hold of your foot and then you start arching back and see if you can reach your knee up to the sky so the further up to the sky you reach your knee the more you arch into the spine the more stretch you're going to find into your left hamstring we take one more breath here and then nice and slow control movement you release right foot to meet the left inhale realign into the spine exhale you fold bending into your knees coming into a little squat again sitting onto your heels lifting your heels we take a little balancing pose here you can bring your hands in prayer position maybe even closing your eyes if that's available oopsie And then nice and slow, releasing your heels, releasing your buttocks. You come to a sit. Leon Navasana, just so that we don't forget the core. Maybe with your legs straight. And then slowly you can start all control movement to come down. Very slowly, exhale. Oh, you relax. We'll just take one little back bend to finish up. So you can bring your feet hip width distance apart with your heels close to your buttocks. Palms pressing down onto the floor. Exhale your breath. As you inhale, you lift your hips. And you can start to roll your shoulders under, interlacing your fingers so that you puff your chest out, reaching your hips right up to the sky. Press your palms together. Neck is long. Deep breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Couple of breaths here. You can bring your knees to your chest, giving yourself a good hug. Oh. And then extending your right leg out, getting hold of your left knee with your right hand. We'll just finish with a, an easy twist. So you let your left knee come towards the right, keeping your right leg active, spine is nice and long, extending your left arm in T-shaped position twisting completely turning your head opposite to your right knee so we're not pulling onto the knee we're just letting the breath soften into the abdominals the hips to find a little deeper twist every exhale so we work with the breath we work with gravity making sure that the left shoulder blade is in contact with the floor We take one more deep breath and then inhaling nice and slow coming back to center you can give yourself a little hug maybe take a little happy baby pose stretching your 
Feet up, getting hold of the outside edge of the feet, knees towards the armpits, and then slowly coming back into a little ball, curling, knees to chest. Extend your left leg out, we take the other side. So keep that left leg active as you exhale into your twist. Um, in T-shaped position, again, right shoulder blade in contact with the floor. Turning your head, just taking a few breaths here. Every breath, you deepen a little bit more into your twist. One more deep breath. Soothing the spine. As you inhale, nice and slow, you come back to center. Again, you can find a happy baby pose, bringing your knees towards your armpits, spine is nice and long, maybe gently rocking from one side to the other, whatever feels good. And then you can extend your feet, hands up to the sky, give it a bit of a shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, and then you can find your Shavasana, stretching your legs out, arms slightly apart from the body. You can maybe wiggle your hips, adjust your body so that you make yourself comfortable. If you have time at home, highly recommended to stay five or maybe even 10 minutes, just relaxing completely, maybe covering yourself with a blanket so that you don't get cold. You close your eyes and you relax. So after the activation of the body, we just let the mind and the body relax to integrate the practice. Just letting the breath be soft. And really enjoying this moment of peace, rest, softening. Deeper internal exploration. Again, if you want to continue to explore the body, maybe the mind, you can stay longer in your Shavasana. Otherwise, you start to invite the breath back in the body to get little movement into your tools, fingers, maybe gently rocking your head. 
from side to side. And on your next inhale, you can stretch your arms up over your head, stretching the body nice and long. And as you exhale, rolling over onto your left side in a fetal position, just taking a few breaths. Hmm. When you're ready, you can press your hands into the earth, coming to a comfortable seat. Spine nice and straight, palms together in front of your heart in the Anjali Mudra, so that you can feel the breath at the heart center, center of love, compassion, gratitude. This is where this, this is the center of feelings, emotions. So just try to keep that sense of gratitude for the breath, or maybe even for more of the things you can be grateful for in your life. And we'll see the practice by bringing the tips of the thumbs to the third eye at the forehead to bear in gratitude to the divine light that surrounds us and resides within each one of us. Hariyom Tatsat. Peace, love and light. Gently opening your eyes when you feel ready. That's it for today, as usual. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe, share it with your friends if you like the practice. Uh, give me any comments. I always like to know how you feel, how you found the practice. If you have any requests, um, I don't bite, not the first time. <laughs> uh, so just, you know, put some comments below, just request, and um, I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day.